Introducing the WISP Block modules from Rock Wireless. Starting with the WISP Block base. As you can see, there are lots of ports and I.O. slots located in the front and back of the board. Let's get an overview of the parts of a WISP Block base. This is the battery connector port and the solar connector port. This is where a WISP Block core is connected, the CPU slot. It also has several I.O. ports for different types of modules. Additional I.O. ports can be found at the back as well. Now let's interface a WIS block core and various modules, such as U-Blocks module and I.O. expansion. Other smaller modules are separated and packaged individually, which can be found in this box. For example, we will use this small GPS module and connect it to the I.O. port at the back of the WizBlock base. The connected core and modules must be mounted securely on the WizBlock base, so that they will not fall off or get disconnected accidentally. We can find the screws and other useful tools in this box. Then we need to determine the appropriate screwdriver bit size, and use it with the screwdriver tool. This tool is very useful and hassle-free to use, as it automatically mounts and stops when it's tight enough. A gentle reminder to mount all devices securely. We have finished securing the core and modules to the WizBlock base. Notice how the devices are tightly fitted to each other. Now we will attach the appropriate antennas to our WizBlock system, which can be found in this box. Rock offers various types of antennas for different applications such as GPS, LoRa, and other communication protocols based on your requirements. We connect the LoRa antenna, GPS antenna, and the other antennas that are needed for our demonstration. Now that we're finished setting up our WizBlock hardware, let's proceed on getting our IDE ready for flashing firmwares. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.